Section 13 of the Rural Magazine and Literary Evening Fireside, Volume 1, Number 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Rural Magazine and Literary Evening Fireside, Volume 1, Number 1, by Various. Singular Effect of Peruvian Bark a french merchant at gaira named delpeche in eighteen o six had occasion to receive several travellers inhabitants of those countries the apartments destined for visitors being filled and the number of his guests increasing he was under the necessity of putting several of them in rooms occupied by cinchona each of them contained from eight to ten thousand pounds of that bark one of his guests was ill of a very malignant fever after the first day he found himself much better though he had taken no medicine but he was surrounded with an atmosphere of cinchona which appeared very agreeable to him in a few days he felt himself quite recovered without any medical treatment whatever this unexpected success led monsieur delpeche to make some other trials several persons ill of fever were placed successively in his magazine of cinchona and they were all speedily cured simply by the effluvia of the bark in the same place with the cinchona he kept a bale of coffee and some bottles of common french brandy in some time monsieur delpeche when visiting his magazine observed one of the large bottles uncorked he suspected at first the fidelity of a servant and determined to examine the quality of the brandy what was his astonishment to find it infinitely superior to what it had been a slightly aromatic taste added to its strength and rendered it more tonic and more agreeable curious to know if the coffee had likewise changed its properties he opened the bale and roasted a portion of it it was more bitter and left in the mouth a taste similar to that of the effluvia of bark the bark which produced these singular effects was fresh would the cinchona of commerce have the same efficacy oil of pumpkin seed c s capinescu esq to dr samuel mitchell new york twentieth february eighteen nineteen while i was at harmony on the banks of the wabash in the state of indiana last summer i was told by the industrious german society of the harmonites that instead of throwing away or giving to the pigs the seeds of their pumpkins as is usually done all over the country they collected them and made an oil from them which they use for all the purposes of lamp oil and olive oil it is well known that all the different species and varieties of pumpkins genus guberbita linnaeus afford an oil which has valuable medical properties possessing in the highest degree the refrigerative quality but i had never heard before of its being made on a large scale and for economical uses it will be sufficient to mention this fact to some of our enlightened farmers to induce them to imitate the worthy harmonites and i recommend highly the practice as likely to become eminently beneficial the pumpkin seeds afford their oil with the greatest facility and abundance one gallon of seeds give about a half a gallon of oil they may be pressed like rape and flax seed their oil is clear limpid pale scentless and when used for salad instead of sweet oil has merely a faint insipid taste it burns well and without smoke those advantages entitle it to our attention as an indigenous production of first necessity pumpkins grow all over the united states from maine to louisiana and with such luxuriance as to produce sometimes as much as fifty thousand pounds weight of fruits and about two thousand pounds weight of seeds in one acre of indian corn without injuring the crop of corn those two thousand pounds of seed might produce about two hundred gallons of oil worth about two hundred dollars i calculate that about two millions of gallons of such oil could be made annually in the united states from the seeds that are wasted or given to cattle and pigs this is worth saving and in addition to the bread pie soups dishes feed etc afforded by pumpkins we shall have a good and wholesome homemade vegetable oil for lamps and food End of section 13.